Testing one, two, three. So Shazay is out here in my mad science laboratory. So what if you could uh, pause time for a brief period? What if time was only relevant to the perception of the observer? Hmm. It's a fascinating question. This video I hope to unlock your mind. What to get you thinking outside the box? What if it was simple? What if time was just a frequency? What if you could uh, change that frequency anytime you felt like it? It's a good question. Say we get just a little bit crazy. So would you call me three shades of stupid for doing a crazy video? Would you think that somehow or another this clock was rigged? Hmm. It's a good question. Maybe that clock is rigged. Maybe the world is rigged. Maybe what you see on a daily basis isn't what you actually think you're seeing. Maybe reality is laid down before you as you will it. Maybe things are put into place that you want to see and feel and do. A whole lot of maybes there. What if it's all a sham? What if there ain't no such thing as time? More to contemplate on. But there were time and you could pause it right there what could you do with that we just wait right there flickering back and forth and you could keep it there for an eternity you imagine how much stuff you could learn if you could stop time in one area? More to think about. I guess the real question to be asked is what do you think is possible? Do you think UFOs exist? Do you think time travel? Interdimensional travel? Do you think all those things exist? Do you think everything that you see around you is, uh, you know, reality? It's a whole lot of thinking to do. Maybe it is and maybe it ain't. But one thing about mad science is we're going to question it all. We're going to question every bit of it. So, with that said, Let's get some crazy going on. <clears throat> Bottle of wine. For the crazy bad science guy. Let's slow it down. And then speed it up. From here to there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, dude, okay, that's just crazy. Now you're just talking stupid, she says. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, you know, where you pose the question, is it possible? What is possible? What is it possible? Is anything possible? Is anything real? Is anything fake? Who knows? <laughs> Matter of fact, who cares? <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I'm thinking that's a pretty fascinating question to be asking folks. What's real and what isn't real in this world? Because it's hard to tell with the age of today's technology or even technology back to Tesla's time. Things that he knew were possible. Things that I believe are possible. Things that I've seen for my own self, my own two eyes. I think all things are possible. I think it's all right here, right up in here, in this noodle here. And so if you believe in the thing, then make it happen. Create it. Like this bottle of wine right here. It's really not fancy stuff. Winking owl. Looks like some Illuminati significance to that. Who knows? But, put my Lincoln Owl over here. And I'm thinking, why did I just put my Lincoln Owl over there? Maybe I should just go over there and get it. You know? Maybe that's what I should do. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to get my winky now. Well, sir, the hellouts, who could I found sinking out? My boat, my jolly, my boat. <sighs> What's going on old here? All right. Seriously though, I think truth is stranger than fixing when you get actually down to it, when you start really thinking about life in general. Things can get kind of weird. So, you've heard all the stories, you've seen all the videos, you've seen everything, have you learned anything from life? Is there anything in this lab that rings a bell in your head? Is there anything that I've said in all these videos that has made you question reality? Have I done anything to unlock your mind? To open your brain to possibilities of things from a different world, different dimension different way of thought from what you've been taught all your life these are the questions you have the answers maybe you can tell me what is it that this video is really all about so that's a whole lot clues in there playing on life and reality mm -hmm. and all that kind of jazz I think I'll pose the next question that I uh, have uh, to my brother as soon as he comes through that door over there. So uh, let me give him a second here and see if he shows up. Oh, about time you got here, you old bum. So, uh, I got a question. All right, what for do you, you want? What do you think about time and space and reality? Time and space. Well, time is only relevant to the perception of the observer. And so, oh, really, <laughs> I perceive you're wasting my time, sucker. Maybe you want to tell the people that. It's his show. <laughs> All righty then. And you know what? I got work to do outside, so peace out, brother. <laughs> 
Stay tuned, folks. This is going to get good. Hello, everybody. It's old Shazia's here, out here in my mad science laboratory. So what if you had a secret, a real secret, and everybody thought you were crazy? What if you had in your possession something that uh, would turn the world upside down, the laws of physics and all that people believe to be as reality? Would you open Pandora's box and let it out? Or would you keep it a secret? That's one of the questions that I've contemplated for a long time. I did this video to open your mind. Open your mind to possibilities of all things in this world and all things outside this world other dimensions, time, space I hope that uh, something I've said in this video has uh, sparked curiosity in your mind so with that said I do have in my possession something amazing that I haven't even told my best friends about I haven't even told my wife so the question is, should I release it to the general public? What if I could prove 150,000 percent beyond a shadow of a doubt the answer to a question that everybody wants? Would I or should I? That's the question. So open your mind and step outside that box for a second. Take a step outside of reality as you've been taught. Step outside the box and ponder the questions that I've asked you in this video. And tell me, am I just a crazy guy? Or do I know something that I'm fixing to share with the world? My channel's about mad science. It's about the search for free energy which I am to pre prove 150,000% beyond a shadow of a doubt that electricity is free. I'm going to go against the grain of all the known laws of physics. I'm going to go against the grain of everything that you are indoctrinated to believe in. So with that said, peace and love. Stay tuned. This might just get a little wild. Take care. It may very well be possible that I don't even exist. When you look around my lab out here and you see all these nifty gizmos, how do you know the difference between fact or fiction? How do you know the difference between reality? What if this crazy old guy named Shaziz really has a secret? Should he share it with the world? And if he did, would it make a difference? Would it make the world a better place? What if I could prove 150,000% beyond a shadow of a doubt? Something that the world has been looking for all the history of time. I'm posing these questions for you to think outside the box. I'm posing these questions to open up your mind. So with that said, I'll say peace and love. Stay tuned. This is going to get exciting. Might even get a little wild. <laughs>